Well, I was certified insane in prison three times and once in the army during the war. So I can't expect to be called safe, frankly, can I? Bit of everything. Robbing banks, killing one or two people, going to prison, getting a birch or the cat of nine tails for punching prison officers, plenty of bread and water, but I was no good advert for crime. After all, I spent 42 years in prison. Criminal world has changed, because now it's a new culture, it's drugs. And really, most people who smoke, they would admit that sometime in their life they've had a, a puff of cannabis or something. Politicians, now, when they look back over their career, they all say when they were students they smoked uh, cannabis. They said, get some votes. So quite a lot of people are into drugs from all walks of life. Yes, it will always be a deterrent to some uh, people, of course, and always will be. But to the determined criminal, it's no deterrent at all. No, I don't think so. That was the norm as I grew up as a very young boy. Sheer poverty then. And when we say poverty, poverty, I'm talking about real poverty. And it did force you out of the crime. Try and put an extra loaf on the table, help your mother and that. A bank manager who runs off with all the takings. No. Anybody and everybody can do it. You hear politicians now, they talk when they were students, they smoked a bit of puff. In fact, it's credibility now. Whereas if they say they've never done anything wrong, they won't get many votes. One, I wished I hadn't been caught. Two, I wished I'd have robbed the bigger bank. And three, I wished I'd have been in a great train robbery. Well, I was asked to go on it. Tommy Wisby, his daughter I now, I'm now with, Marilyn, and he asked me to go on it. And I had to tell him, no, Tom, I'm already on the run. I was red hot at the time, and I could have been an embarrassment. As we were planning it, or driving about, getting things ready, I could have been recognised, chased, caught, and could have caused a lot of embarrassment. So I had to pull out. One of the biggest regrets I have. I most probably would have retired if I'd have been on it and everything, yeah. Because I think maybe with me, a lot of them wouldn't have been arrested. As I was the one really with real, real experience. Whereas quite a lot of them, though they've been in trouble, not that serious though, with the majority. Well, it's more or less the same thing. The only difference now when I'm walking along, instead of the flying squad jumping out of a car and pouncing on me, it's someone with a camera taking a photo. That's the difference. <laughs>